automotive viewers of the whole universe. Hope to this fine Amarash man who brings follow to my own experience. And today we're communicating with you about clustering algorithms. What are the clustering algorithms? It is the specific algorithms inside of the artificial intelligence field, inside of the machine learning field, and also they could be applied to neural networks and deep neural networks. Actually, deep learning too. But actually, they are unsupervised learning algorithms that are used in machine learning. And machine learning it is the subset of artificial intelligence. So, what does it do? It does this thing. For example, we have different types of herbs here and we can cluster them by different colors. We have uh, different types of yellow, also greeny, violet, purple and things of this nature and white too. And we can uh, kind of cluster them by the specific uh, parameters, specific characteristics that they have. For example, a yellow will be near the yellow, blue will be near the blue, also violet will be near the violet and etc. So we use different types of uh, clustering algorithms. They could be divisive and agglomerative. Agglomerative means that they are kind of uh, <laughs> make everything to segment everything, a kind of agglomerate it. Divisive, it makes it subclustering. So we have subclusters and also we have agglomerating them to the full of them. Actually, how do they work? They work through this thing. For example, we have one single tones and we, we kind of make them more similar, 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 uh, similar. It is uh, the agglomerative, uh, agglomerative uh, algorithms and uh, also we have divisive algorithms. When we go from the biggest set, then we have subset, subset, sub, 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 sets, and then we have single tones of these uh, objects that we have. It is uh, the different types of algorithms. Actually, we can describe them differently through hierarchical algorithms. Also, we can say that they are robust. Robust it is when we have have, for example, the set of uh, things, and we have also some dots that are super exaggerated, and some some of them are far away. Some motorcycles, also, uh, motorcycles are going here. And it's uh, it's fine. So we have uh, different dots here, and also we have a lot of there. It is uh, so far away from the main distribution of data, and so robust clustering it will be so in this way when we collect all the data. But this one super exaggerated, we don't think about it. We will delete it all or eliminate or maybe we will do some of the cut maybe this noise actually that we don't need actually sometimes it is the same with audio we record the specific audio messages and something will be picked in terms of the volume or maybe it will be so so lowly picked to the down to to the bottom to so we don't hear it so zero almost decibels or a kind of 99 99 99 of decibels it is so we don't need it so we cut it it is robust clustering actually we have different types of clustering algorithms k means k means plus plus k means sharp robust means plus plus db scan db scan db scan db scan they work through the density. Also, Cure, Kurt, Chameleon, Clara, Clarence, Fast Clara, Fast Clarence, Fast PM, Fast PM1, Fast PM2, Faster PM, Eager PM, DVCJ, DVSAC, DVCVAE, RCC, RCDR, HDD, DRC, DEC, COR, HOMM, Affinity Propagation, Mini Batch Can Means, Spectral Clustering, Special Temporal Clustering uh, that works with uh, spot, so it is uh, the space and also temporal means time. Spatial Temporal Clustering, also different types of Agnes, Diana, that I said before, Agnes, it is agglomerative nesting, so when we kind of make them bigger, and divisive, uh, Diana stands for D-I-A-N-A, -A. it is uh, divisive analysis, D-A-N-A, analysis, divisive analysis. So we have different types of algorithms, we use them ultra-scalable, also they could be ultra-scalable ensemble clustering, ultra-scalable spectral clustering, they could be with different types of parameters inside of it, it is kind of the same as we will We'll look at different types of bees or maybe we will look at different types of dogs who have kind of dogs that are almost similar to each other or maybe different types of buildings they could be with different sizes different facades different sides of it yard it could be kind of in the shape of O in the shape of U in the shape of V in the shape of uh, maybe it will be a rectangular pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon nonagon decagon or different types of shape of them and uh, it is uh, all about different types of clustering they are kind 
kind of almost the same but uh, they do all th the same thing they make all the points similar to each other they make them as clusters and also inside of the clusters we have the centers centers say the centroids or midoids could be two midoids it is uh, the specific center that we have in our data set and centroid it is the perfectionistic uh, perfectionistic center that could be in our data set but uh, could be not we calculated through the different types of uh, uh, first of all we measure them by different types of measurements of mean and uh, distances uh, Mahalanobis distance uh, Euclidean distance squared Euclidean distance Manhattan distance uh, and uh, other distances and then we calculate the mean number average number by harmonic mirror uh, uh, harmonic mean arithmetic mean German I mean uh, geometric mean and etc so we can make uh, the centers uh, calculated by different types of formulas that we could use kolmogorov mean we can use it too. so kolmogorov it is uh, uh, it is the more wider to calculate the centers of clusters and we can find aggregation functions aggregation functions it is the name of the specific uh, the specific fun functions that are calculating our mean or average number so we can calculate Calculate the centers uh, by calculating the centers we could decrease uh, we can for example we have the group of uh, musicians uh, we have uh, for example 20 musicians uh, pianists and uh, we need to calculate their skills how to calculate them how to approximate how to make them uh, so we know what's the average number of their skills we kind of calculate all the data of their skills and uh, with different types of coefficients we calculate the average number of their skills and we will find out the prototype prototypical prototypical or the most averaged uh, of the them. and actually 20 from from 20 to 1 it is aggregation functions when we calculate uh, only one and then we could could decrease the number of our data sets make all on, on uh, take only the the objects that we have people objects or something data of uh, the specific things in our life we can make them through the the most prototypical we can take and decrease our size of data sets from 20 to 1 of specific units and uh, the same with different types of data so we could uh, decrease it and so you can store it uh, easily and then work with it so it is uh, the clustering algorithms in clustering algorithm uh, data clustering algorithms used in the taxonomy in different types of uh, finding things and the measurements that we have it is length width height depth weight it is uh, some of the measurements that we could have also described by rgb rgbh cell hcl hcv hcv cny cyk color models for different types of data that you could describe in our world and also post that x post that y post that z well that x well that Y, well, that's that I see that X, I see that Y, I see that Z. That stands for position, velocity, and acceleration of different types of objects by X, Y, Z coordinates, Cartesian coordinates. We can uh, kind of uh, calculate everything and uh, make them uh, clustered uh, in our our world of programming, of machine learning. So we have also other tasks uh, of uh, machine learning. It is uh, we talked uh, right now about clustering. Also, we have classification, regression analysis, and dimensionality reduction. To Today we talked about this, in the next time we could talk about different types of things is machine learning. So thank you a lot for watching this video, let me know in the comment section below what have you understood and what would you like to see in the next video about clustering and different types of machine learning algorithms. Thank you, see you next time, Improv Soldata, you're a nice guy, a girl, bye.